me, Flippy, and I was just dancing. <laughs> but it's really hot outside. I wish I could take a break. Well, no time for breaks when you're dancing. Oh, do you see that? Oh, it's a popsicle cart and I love popsicles. I think you and I should get a popsicle. Let's go. Hey. Hi, Blippi. How are you? What's your name? I'm Julia. Ooh. Would you like a handmade popsicle? Yeah, I love popsicles. What flavor do you have? This is Cha Cha Cha. It's mango, pineapple, and chia seed. Ooh, that sounds so yummy. Mango, pineapple, and chia seeds. <laughs> that is so yummy! <laughs> yeah, glad you like it. Do you want to see how they're made? Yeah, that would be so much fun. All let's right, go. Let's go. Welcome to my kitchen. Wow, look at this place, it's so cool. Thanks, now first thing, you need to gear up. Oh, check it out. This is an apron, here we go. Wow, okay, well what do we have here? So these are all the ingredients we use to make our popsicles. Ooh, it looks like a bunch of fruit and vegetables. Yep, you got it. We actually use a lot of superfoods in our popsicles. So wow. you'll see kale and avocado, and spinach and chia seeds. What's this? This is a coconut. Wow, that's cool. A coconut, cool. Well, what flavor are we making? I thought we could make Popeye. Popeye? Yeah, all right. That's why I call it Popeye. Um, I don't know, why? I use spinach. Okay. So here you go, hold the spinach. I was making a batch earlier, so I thought we could just add to it. Okay, so here's some spinach, and what do you have? Strawberries. Strawberries. And to sweeten it, we use dates. Ooh, dates, <laughs> all right. Come on back. Oh, okay. So here's the batch I was working on earlier. Oh, look at it. All right. Oh, that looks yummy. <laughs> go ahead, let's add it in. Okay, bye-bye, spinach. <laughs> And then here are some strawberries. Ooh. And dates. Yum. Now, what might be different about your kitchen is we have some big equipment we use here. Really? <laughs> I'm are excited. Whoa, look at that. That thing is massive. What does that thing do? This is our immersion blender. Wow. So you put it in. Whoa. You hit the button. Whoa. So that just blends it up into yes. a liquid? It sure does. Wow, that looks so yummy. Well, now what do we do? Now we're gonna put it in our mold. Okay. And I'm gonna get my trusty pitcher. Ooh. Wow. All right. So it's basically three ingredients all blended up to make one yummy tasting liquid. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it in. Oh. And then you kinda just have to feed it through. Shake it around. Yeah. May I? Of course. Okay. Well, here's some more. Whoa! Okay. We got some chunky ones in there. <laughs> That's okay. There's some more. Okay. And then next what we need to do is, we'll just put in our sticks. Ooh, yeah, like a popsicle stick. Have you ever eaten a popsicle and you hold on to the piece of wood? Yeah, that's what we just put in there. That's what makes them so handy. Okay. And now we put it into our extra special popsicle machine. Whoa, what does so, this thing do? It makes it super cold. It freezes the popsicle in 18 minutes. Wow, I'm so excited. I sure do love popsicles. Hey, check it out. Let's put it in. Whoa, so is that just really cold in there? Yes, it's actually made out of a special popsicle freezing liquid. Whoa, all I right. I can't tell you all my secrets. Huh. Well, maybe for later. Well, now what do we do? Well, usually when I wait for popsicles to freeze, I like to dance. Okay, let's go! Woohoo! Take off. 
off that good popsicle liquid. Okay. Let it dry. All right. I'm gonna grab this towel so we don't slip on it. That'll make a fun dance move. Yeah. We have to put it in the liquid. Okay, and what does that do? It kind of softens it up so it comes right out. Ooh, last one. Ooh. There they are. Those look so yummy. I am so excited. Go ahead, try one. Okay, how about this one? Wow. Mmm. <laughs> yum. That is so yummy. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> that reminds me. I gotta go back out and sell more popsicles. <gasps> okay, well. Do you think you could watch the kitchen for me? Feel free to make your own flavor. <gasps> make our own flavor? That sounds like fun. See you, Blippi. Thanks for showing us around. No problem. Did you hear that? You and I get to make our very own Blippi flavor. <laughs> Let's do this. Woohoo! Did you hear that? All right, you and I are gonna make our very own flavor, and I am so excited. All right, let's see what we have to work with. All right, you know what kind of fruit this is, right? Yeah, this is an apple. Okay, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, what are these? Check these out. Yeah, these are lemons. Lemons are the color yellow. Wow, and then we have some greens over here. Whoa, spinach. Wow, whoa, hello. <laughs> it's like hair. Whoa, whoa, this is kale. And kale is really yummy. <laughs> and it doesn't like containers. <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's put these back in here so then we can continue to see what type of fruits and vegetables we have. Like this, whoa, this is so heavy, whoa, whoa, ah, yeah. This is a watermelon, and watermelons are so big and yummy. Do you know what color is on the inside of the watermelon? Yeah, red, and the outside is green. Okay, just a couple more. Bananas, and? Pineapple, yum! Okay, so you can see we have this big bucket right here and we need to put a lot of the ingredients right in here. Can't forget about the strawberries. We'll start with those. Here we go! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, that kale. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Let's put some in there. <laughs> we are doing so good. Oh, apples. Okay, we could put the whole apple in there, but I think we should probably slice it. Have you ever had a slice of an apple? They're so yummy. Okay, here is our red apple slicer. And then put it right in the center, just like that. And then you push down. Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Slice the apples, so then Pull them out, and then you can put them right in our big bucket. Wow. And you keep the core, whoop. <laughs> you keep the core, which is the center, out of it, because there's a lot of seeds in there. Oh, speaking of seeds, watermelons have seeds. <laughs> okay, let's cut open the watermelon, whoa. I'm gonna be very careful because I'm a grown up with this knife. Ready? Okay, here we go. Chop it in half, just like that. Flip it around. Wow, look at that. That looks so yummy. Our popsicles are gonna be so yummy. Okay, um, I have an idea. <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> All right, we have some bananas. Open those up. Here we go, bye-bye banana. Woohoo! <laughs> and we'll do another banana. Yum! Here we go! <laughs> Yum, look at it. Is that looking tasty or does that look tasty? <laughs> Whoa! And remember? We learned what fruit this is. Yeah, the coconut. All right, these are a little tricky to open, but 
it's worth the trouble. So let's take the coconut opener. I just want to drink it all up. Oh, oh, okay, we'll put that in the bucket fur. Popsicles! Whoa! Oh, yum! Okay, use this little coconut device and pull out some of the coconut meat. Yeah, right in there. Ooh, yummy! There we go. All right, perfect. Let's bring it right over here. Yum! All right. Oh, spinach right here. Woohoo! And then we have a bunch of grapes. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grapes. All right, and then remember these, we used these earlier. These are dates. Here we go! Whoa! Oh, okay, can't forget about the lemons. We have so many types of fruits and vegetables in here. Here we go. Wow. Okay, let's take these and give a little squeeze. Woohoo! <laughs> Uh, have you ever tasted a lemon before? Okay, let's try some. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's sour. Okay, let's wash our hands. And then last but not least, we have a pineapple. We cut the pineapple just like that. And you see that yellow? That looks so yummy. So now we take this pineapple tool Put it right on top, and then give it a little twist. Wow, look at that. And then you pull it out. Whoa, check that out. And then take it off, just like this. And that's gonna give it some nice sweetness to these yummy popsicles. All right, I think that's plenty. Look at, whoa, that's so heavy. Come on back here. Remember that next step that we do? Yeah, she taught us that you put the bucket, whoa, right here, and take the big blender, whoa, whoa. And we blend it up. Here we go. All right, now it's all mixed up. Wait a second though, we need the magic tool. This is a giant whisk. Woohoo! Check this out. All righty, it's adding some color. <laughs> okay, let's put this right over here and then we can bring this up and grab this pitcher. Remember from earlier, we need to scoop some out. Oh, oh, I am so excited. Pour some in. Let's grab another scoop. Okay, here we go. Okay, whoa! All right, I think that's plenty. So let's give it a shake. These are gonna be so yummy. And then let's take these sticks. Wow, that's a lot of popsicle sticks. <laughs> Put them right in there. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we need to bring it to the cooling station. <gasps> Here we go. Set it down. Woo! We did it! 
All right, now, remember what we had to do earlier? It's gonna take a long time. So, we get a dance while we wait. Must be ready. Let's check them out. Woohoo! All right. Whoa, I am so excited. Right. Hey, we yeah. gotta drain them. I can't wait to see the ingredients you used. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, nice and come. loose. <gasps> Whoa! Look at them! Whoa! My two favorite colors. Yeah! Check them out. Blue and orange. Shall we try them? Yeah. Mmm. Do you like them? These are delicious, Flippy. You know what? You need to take those outside and go sell some pops. Mm, awesome. All right. Let's go try some. Sell some popsicles. <laughs> popsicles, popsicles. Who wants a popsicle? <laughs> I love popsicles. And that was so much fun learning about how to make popsicles with you at Mom and Pop Shop in Costa Mesa, California. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, see you later. Hello! Hey! It's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at! Whoa, today I'm at Young Chef's Academy in Covington, Washington. This place is so cool! Yeah, it's where young chefs, kids just like you, can come here and learn to cook some delicious treats! <laughs> Let's go! Hi, Flippy! Hey, who are you? My name's Chef Riley! Oh, nice to meet you, Chef Riley! Hey, do you mind if we go explore the kitchen? Go for it. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, let's go. Wow, look at this kitchen. It is so bright and colorful. Whoa, come on. Okay, the very first thing that I need to do when you enter a kitchen is wash your hands. Okay, I'm going to turn on hot water. And then I'm going to rinse them. Okay, get them nice and moist. And then... We need some soap. Okay, and we need to scrub for 20 seconds. And one way to do this is to sing the ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> okay, now we get to rinse off our hands. Nice and dry. Now, once our hands are dry, clean, now I can put on an apron. <laughs> yeah, an apron is used so then clothes not get dirty when you're cooking with some food. <laughs> All right, and can't forget my Young Chef's Academy. Chef's hat. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> All right, check it out. This kitchen is so colorful. Do you see all these cabinets? Yeah. Whoa. These, yeah, are the color green. Ooh, this over here, yeah, that cabinet is purple, pink, yellow. Whoa, I bet there's a lot of cool things in these cabinets. Whoa, look at this. Some yummy vegetables. Hey, you know what kind of vegetable this is? Yeah, this is an orange pepper. <laughs> look at these. Yeah, some green beans. I sure do love vegetables. All right, <laughs> I'm so excited. Whoa. This is gonna be tasty. I am looking at the recipe of what we're gonna be making today. Looks like we're gonna be making crispy green beans. Whoa, those look tasty. And 
creamy ranch dip. Oh, this is going to be so yummy and healthy. I love vegetables and I love ranch dip. I wonder if we're going to be able to dip the green beans into the ranch dip. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it seems like we need a lot of tools and a lot of ingredients. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's in here that we need. Okay, looks like we need some measuring cups. Ooh, a small one. A medium-sized one. Another medium-sized one. And a big one. Put those right back here. Perfect. Then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa! Yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes. From small, to medium, to medium, to large. <laughs> okay, put them right, about oh, right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh. Wow, a measuring cup. This is what you put liquids, and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids. And this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Oh, let's see. Is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this! It's a rolling pin! <laughs> oh, so cute! This is a small rolling pin. Whoa! Whoa. And this is a big rolling pin. Whoa, they're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because we can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, probably right in here. Oh, yeah. Two ingredients that we need. Breadcrumbs. Perfect. Okay, we'll shut this. All right. There we go. And uh, let's see. How about some cold ingredients? Wow. Look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream. Probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh. Some cheese. Parmesan cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream. Okay, put that down. And now, I think we're ready. Hmm. Uh, looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools, but this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Huh. Want some help with these? Oh, sure. I hey. Hi, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're gonna to wanna to preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first we're gonna to wanna to do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we wanna scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Can you do that? Sure. Okay, looks like we need some flour. Let's do a little scoop. And there we go. And 
Perfect. Great job, Flippy. Thank All you. right, next we're gonna wanna crack an egg. Okay. Let's see, so at Young Chef's Academy, we crack an egg using the table, not the edge of the counter, so that it doesn't get all over the floor in the mess. Okay. <laughs> you wanna crack hard, whoop, and use your thumbs to break open the egg, just like that. Perfect. You'll wanna put the shell in a separate bowl. Okay, here we go. Let's use the table. There we go. Great job, Lippy. Thank Next you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. rinse them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Okay. All right. Next we're going to want to do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. So this wow. looks about right. Yeah, so is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is, it's dried breadcrumbs. Okay, all right. Oh, let's use that. Okay, one big scoop. All right, in the same bowl? Yeah, oh, so sorry, in a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right, next we're gonna wanna add the rest of our spices. Okay. is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're gonna wanna use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. There we go. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then put it in the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Thank you. Wow, salt is so yummy. There we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. Oh, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. And How you do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. Okay. Whoa. This is a really good way to mix good. it all up. Uh, yeah, you want to use it like that. All right, next we're gonna wanna put our egg into this mixing bowl, the clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay, here we go. Put the egg in this bowl. Whee! Oh! <laughs> All right. And we're gonna wanna use a little bit of water. Some water like this. In with the egg. Thank you. All right. Put some water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk that, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay. So let's take the fork and let's whisk the egg. Whoa. Did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, and now it's all mixed up. Perfect. That's perfect. We're gonna grab a couple of handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay. All right. Perfect. And toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is going to help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look, they used to be green, but now they're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right. Now we are going to touch the egg. We're gonna put 
the green beans, we're gonna use two different hands. We're gonna have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not gonna touch the egg with this hand. We're gonna put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay, take the fork out. Now, do a little tossing. There we go. Whoa, <laughs> I'm spilling. That's okay. Okay. Wow, look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All right, great. Now you're gonna to wanna to put the green beans into the panko, toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow. Good <laughs> that looks job. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you wanna put them onto the tray. Okay. Whoa. These are gonna be so yummy. I know. I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. There we go. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You wanna make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay. Go. Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah, let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Oh, wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna, so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. All right. Go. Awesome. Now we're going to want to do half a cup of buttermilk into okay. your bowl. Alrighty. There we go. Perfect. Alright, now we're going to want to get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect. I'm ready. And we're going to use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chai. Okay. Dill, parsley, and chives. There we go. Good job, okay. <laughs> Next, you. we're gonna want our half teaspoon. Okay, a little bigger. <laughs> All right. All right, and we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. All right. Okay, let's give it a little scoop. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. Don't right. forget, we whisk with our wrist. All right. Oh, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we want to juice our lemon. Okay. So you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half, and we'll use our juicer here. We want to make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around to get all of that juice out. Okay, yes, I'll try it. Oh, there we go. Good job. Oh, yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. <laughs> okay. There's that one for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. 
Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Mix that up. All right. Yum. Now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right like this. Okay. Put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> and a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. Just remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> delicious. Did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Whoa! Yum! Wow! Oh, they look delicious, Blippi. Whoa! Check them out! Oh my gosh! All right, Blippi, it looks like our green beans and zesty ranch are all ready. Whoa, so good. Those look yummy. Check them out. Whoa, I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, you'd think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of food. Yeah, like these yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> Good job cooking! <laughs> Ooh, <yee -haw. laughs> Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yum! It was so tasty! Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chefs Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. Hello, hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're at the Hands-On Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. This is gonna be so much fun. I love learning with you. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hey, this is the Build-It Gallery. This is where you get to build things. Oh, silly me! Anywho, you put things together, these pieces of wood, and then that is how you build things in the Build-It Gallery. Yeah, I almost completed this house. Do you see it? I have a roof right here, and the framing of the house, and the walls, and everything except for the remaining roof and some gravel. That's what we need, gravel, to go inside the house. Yeah, the floor needs some gravel. Yeah, we're not gonna use carpet, tile, anything like that. We're gonna use gravel. So let's take this shovel. Yeah, and uh, first let's drive the dump truck. <laughs> all right, I think we're close enough to the job site that we can get all the gravel out of the back of the dump truck. All right, okay, let's take the shovel, put it in the wheelbarrow, and then wheel it up. Ah, there we go. Oh, all right. Now we need to shovel some of these big rocks. Ugh. This is some 
big rocks that's gonna make some for some really good flooring in our house. Ugh. Okay, one more scoop. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. All right, now we need to take it over to the house. Wheelbarrows are super nice to use. It makes hauling things a lot easier. Oh, how are we gonna get it in there? Wait a second, I have an idea. Maybe we can use one of these boards that actually should go on the roof. But for now, let's lean it up like this. And then let's take this wheelbarrow, go up, uh, and let's dump it in, ready? stone floor now. Perfect. All right, now we can put the rest of the roof on, yeah, just like that. Oh, hard day's work right here. Ugh. There we go. That looks like a great house. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Hey, but before we go to another room, I think we should check out the rest of the tools like this. Yeah, there's a lot of tools in here. You know what tool this is? This is a jackhammer. Watch how it works. Whoa! It goes up and down super fast and breaks the ground up. Whoa, and look at all of these. Looks like we have a tape measure, so then we can measure things. Ooh, looks like we have a cordless drill. So then we don't have to go really slow with our hand. This just goes wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Ooh, and a big mallet. Yeah, they're kind of like a hammer, but with bigger heads on it. And check this out, an air framing nailer. This is what you use to secure the roof. Yeah, with nails. hibernate during winter time. <laughs> Keeps them nice and warm under snow. <laughs> oh, speaking of snow, check it out. This is an ice rink. Yeah, when water freezes, it turns into ice. And I think you and I should go skating. Oh, but first, we need to pick out some socks. Hmm, let's see, which socks? Hmm, oh, these look nice. Oh, wait a second. I don't think these are gonna fit. <laughs> so let's put those back. And how about, uh, these look pretty cool. All right, okay, let's take off my shoes. Yeah, I already have socks on, but that's okay. These are really cool. And I'm gonna put them on the outside of my feet. Are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha, three, two, one. Earlier, how I said this is ice, it's actually practice ice for the sport of sock skating. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I do a dance for you? A figure skating routine. Are you ready? Hit the music.
Okay, let's go downstairs now. Wait a second. The cool thing about this children's museum is you can go downstairs with the stairs as well as the slide. Yeah, I'm gonna go down the blue slide. Ready? See you down there. Whoa! What a fast way to go downstairs. Yeah! Whoa! I'm at the Fort of Olympia. Whoa, and check this out. This is a giant crane! Whoa! Hey! And look, we have some logs. Yeah, two logs that turn into lumber later. <laughs> All right, let's hook them up to this hook. One log, two logs, three, oh, two, <laughs> three logs. All right, now I'm gonna go hoist it up. Good job. All right, let's go. I'm flying. <laughs> Flippy, I'm flying. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. Oh. <laughs> Dolphins. <laughs> hey, check this out. Whoa. This is so cool how you put the rubber duckies on this end, and then the water flows downhill, and then they go. I bet Blue is gonna win. Oh, Green got stuck. See you later, Green. Yeah, Blue! Whoa! -ho -ho -ho! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, check this out. When water does this, when it's really smooth, it's called laminar flow. <laughs> oh, whoa. But check it out. There's actually smoke on the inside. Whoa! <laughs> oh, now I'm all wet. Whoa! Look at these two tubes. They have smoke coming out. <laughs> Check this out. Whoa. When you add these pipes, you can direct where the smoke goes. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh. Check this out. What is this? It looks like a water tornado. Its name is the volcano. <laughs> so cool. Hey, speaking of balls, whoa, we have one ball, two balls, where are you? Three balls, four balls, okay, now just three balls. Let's get one more ball, oh, oh. four balls. Okay, let's go over here. Whoa, and this hole is where you put the balls. One yellow ball. One pink ball, one red ball, one purple ball. Whoa, where did they go? I don't know. Check this out. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah, we did it. Wait a second, that was five balls. What? <laughs> yeah. Check it out. I'm driving this police car. Yep, we have the steering wheel. Whoa! And we have the siren. And you can't forget about the lights. Whoa! It's so loud in here. Whoa! All right. Whoa! Oh, I sure do love police cars. And I also love fire trucks. Wow. Fire trucks are great because they go to houses and buildings and 
pieces of land with fires and put them out. Whoa. Hey. Yeah, look. You can sit inside this fire truck. Whoa. Do you hear the siren? Whoa. Whoa, and I just turned on the lights. Whoa. I love fire trucks. Most of them are the color red. Hey, speaking of red, look, this is an ambulance. Whoa. Oh, the back is a big cube. Hey, yeah, check it out. Come on. Whoa, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Ambulances are great because they show up if anyone needs any help. Yeah, with their health problem. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay, and I think the front also has some lights and some siren. Whoa. Move right around here and let's drive the ambulance. What is your location? Oh, my location? My location is at the Children's Museum. Whoa. And we got the lights. Let's go! Whoa! Let's go save some people! Whoa! Okay, and there's actually another emergency vehicle way up top. Do you see it? It's really high in the sky. Let's go get it! Yeah, it's not an airplane, but it's kind of like an airplane because it flies in the air. But it has rotors, not jets and propellers. Well, some of them have jets. But anywho, this is a helicopter! Whoa, let me fly the helicopter. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Here we go. Yeah, even helicopters can save people. Yeah, they're emergency vehicles. And they even can put out fires. There's so many uses for helicopters. Whoa. on Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is spell my name. Yeah, will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. All right. Choo-choo.